tuko na mpango kamili ambaye tunashughulikia gharama ya maisha. Kwa mara ya kwanza tumesajili wakulima milioni tano Tuko na mbolea milioni sita Saa hizi wakulima wetu wanashughulika na kupanda chakula kote katika taifa letu la Kenya. Juzi nilitangaza ya kwamba tumeagiza chakula kutoka nje na itaanza kufika wiki hii tuhakikishe ya kwamba pale kutakapotokea pengo ya kukosekana kwa chakula kabla hatujapata ile chakula ambayo tunazalisha mashambani na wakulima wetu tutakuwa na nafasi ya kutumia chakula ambayo tumeagiza kutoka eh, nchi za nje tumeagiza mahindi tumeagiza mchele tumeagiza maharagwe tumeagiza chakula ya aina nyingi ambazo tayari na tayari tulipatiana ilani kwa wakulima wetu kwamba kama kuna mkulima yeyote ambaye bado wako na chakula katika magala zao wa eh, waziuze kwa sababu kuanzia mwezi huu tutapata chakula kutoka eh, nje ya nchi na pili ni watangazie ya, ya wa Kenya ya kwamba mahali tulipata gharama ya chakula pale ilikuwa shilingi elf, eh, shilingi 230 fikia sasa ni shilingi 180 kumaanisha ya kwamba zile hatua tumezichukua zimeanza kupunguza gharama ya maisha lakini mpango yetu ni mpango ambayo inaitwa sustainable ndio sababu tunashughulika na wakulima wetu as a believer in the rule of law and as a believer in running an accountable government our position is that we should never be in the position that this country was put by the handshake where there is no distinction between government and the opposition once you compromise accountability and oversight you are in for a lot of trouble our position is that we want to engage our brothers and sisters on the other side on issues that are important to the people of Kenya them as an opposition us as a government that way the system of checks and balances remains intact we've been this road before we've um, sorted out uh, matters in a bipartisan way in parliament before irrespective of what numbers there are and in any case the numbers in parliament are the, the difference is not that much from where i sit so i do not see any threat of any side and in any case when we engage in a bipartisan approach it is not a game of numbers it is a game of reason and uh, how we um, uh, put our arguments in a manner that carries not one side but all sides that is the essence of a bipartisan approach we are great believers in free media and any engagement that puts the media in danger is not acceptable however in the context of the violent demonstrations you agree that there has been a lot of violence against citizens many citizens properties burning or down of buildings you know including churches in that confusion there could have been incidences where the media was caught in the fray i do not think there is any deliberate attack on the media and if there was such deliberate attack on the media i can tell you we would be opposed to it and we would not support it and we would actually uh, deal with it because we believe that the media should be left to carry out its duties its uh, broadcasts irrespective of how unfair they may be it doesn't really matter but 
the media should be left alone, irrespective of how biased they may be. And just for the record, because I have seen some other people say, oh, maybe the media will be, I don't know what will be switched off. Take it from me. Kenya has come a long way. The, eras of, the era of uh, switching off, I don't know this or that, that, that's way behind us. I have said we will support the right of the media to carry out its function. You have our absolute support, irrespective of how biased you are against us. We will support you. Yeah? We will support you to do whatever it is that you're doing. But uh, I am sure if we exchange positions, if you are standing where I'm standing, you guys would have switched off the media. But us, we will not. Sawa. Santeni.